Hello, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and I have a tip for you today on ink cartridges, of all things. I know I don't talk a lot about ink cartridges because I'm more of a bottled ink man myself, but I heard about this really cool tip and I just thought I would want to share it with you. This is for you ink cartridge users out there who are on the go. This is about carrying around a spare ink cartridge inside the body of your pen. So if you have a pen such as this Jinhao 159, this is a fairly large bodied pen, but I think that it'll work for a lot of other pens too. So basically, if you have a pen that is a standard international cartridge type, like this Jinhao, you have this pretty recognizable standard international converter. Well, if you have a pen that accepts this converter, then that means that it also accepts this cartridge. This is called the standard international short cartridge, but a lot of people don't refer to it as short. They just call it standard international. If you have two of them, you'll notice that if you put them up back to back, they are almost exactly the length of a standard international converter. And that's kind of convenient because if you have a pen that fits a full size standard international converter, that means that you can actually carry two cartridges around in your pen. All you gotta do is take one cartridge, flip it around so that the tapered end is going towards the back of the body of your pen, bloop, just like that. And then you install the other cartridge into your pen just like you normally would to write with it. You screw the body of the pen together. And now you have a spare cartridge in here and one installed in your pen. You just write with it like normal. And then when this one starts to get low or runs out, you just pop that one off, shake the new one out, flip it around, install it, and you can go on writing with your spare. And you got a whole cartridge's worth to try to get another one to replace it into your body of your pen. Now you wanna make sure that you're using the same color, that you're not mixing and matching colors because then you'll wanna clean out your pen in between. But as long as you're using consistent colors, you can continue on doing this method for basically as long as you want. So that's a neat little trick there that I thought would be handy for you cartridge using folks out there. So if you like this tip and you want some more like it, I've got lots of other great ones on my YouTube channel and you can subscribe to that as well for more that I will do in the future or you can check out my blog at inkandbow.com. Thanks so much for watching this video today and right on.